Now we draw close to the end of our journey, but we still have a little ways to go. First off, we're in Dahlia Valley. This is a little bit better than the volcano area as we have to at least work our way down. It's not just a case of going in the back way and maybe that's the problem. Maybe I should have gone in the front way. Well, I had to go get the dodo bird though. Huh. I honestly can't think of a better way to have done that. It just... It seems so abrupt, you know? Oh, well. Like I said, at least here we're having to work our way back down. So also, if you remember the threats, it's these weird bird things. And the turtles that pop out of every hole in the wall. Okay, but our goal here is to get to the very bottom of this map. Oddly enough, the grandmother's house is still there. Uh, no one inside. You can't go inside, of course. But uh, you can still get the apples that are in front of it if you need them. I'm pretty good, so I'm just going to keep moving. Anyway, get to the bottom of the map, and you find this. Okay, that's the way back up. Okay. It's pretty straightforward. No actual monsters. But a lot of spikes and flamethrowers. Again, I recommend having Leviathan it ready at all times. To get through these little bump traps, or these bump, whatever you want to call them. Internal pimples. Ugh. I mean, we are inside a monster right now. Oop, right, yeah. <laughs> Something else to watch out is sometimes those bump things have spikes underneath them. So this is pretty simple, just move through the area. Very maze-like, easy to get lost here, but uh... Okay, I don't think there's anything down here, no, it's just that. Okay, you need to go up. You can either use the cheetah and moa bird to slowly gain your way. Uh, you can do the trick with the uh, armadillo, using this platform to get you more and more space. Or you can remember you have the dinosaur, who just negates all of this, and you just swim straight over it. Again, make sure you put the cheetah on so he goes faster. Also, we'll protect you from the spikes. Unfortunately, you can't use your sword while you're on him, so if you need to cut anything down, you're kind of stuck. Okay. Well, you gotta stop here. Leviathan for speed, and we need to cut at least one of these blocks open for ourselves. Okay, and good. I think from here we can just go here. Yeah, here's where you gotta start watching for the spikes underneath the bumps. Okay. I'm probably gonna hit more than one because, nah. Pretty big. Yeah, in terms of sign you know, up, space you have to run, there's a lot of stuff in this dungeon. I do think it could have been helped by a few monsters, but uh, even I'm not sure what you'd put inside here. Slimes, maybe? Okay. There we go. I think we're almost there. Oh. Let me check frap settings when I'm done with this. It seems like it's... Uh, Get that weird screen blur effect a lot. Okay, watch the feet for your footing here because the. Uh... Oh, that was a waste of time. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Be the spots that don't shine, they break away. Almost there. Also, though, even if you let down the one heart, this isn't much of a threat because you'll, you'll see the boss. We'll get to them in just a second. We're almost. Actually, we're right there. Go into here, and boss of the area is the monster's heart. Not attached to anything, oddly enough. She won't do anything, you can't leave. The only thing that damages her is the strongest ice magic. Okay. I kind of feel bad about this one because honestly, there's nothing, there's no other option. You have to kill the heart. It's not like she's threatening you. 
I can't really count the spikes inside of her because it's internal. So I'll give this one to the monsters. This is kind of a cruel thing for my character to do. Killing a monster simply because it was it's something we would call a monster. Oh well. Let's get the horn. Oh, with her dead, no more monsters here either. And it happens true. No more turtles pop out. Okay. But before we run off, I think there's money here. It might be just enough to tip us off. Oh, ten short. You know what? I can go get that real quick. Let's see. Going up and... Hang on, there's probably some monsters here I could kill to get that. Oh, no, wait, there aren't any monsters. I just took care of that. Okay. There we go. But, uh... Oh, there's the uh, tornadoes in Soleil Town. Well, you know, let's go ahead and get the coins anyway. It's just ten. Let's see. This won't take long. And the event in the Soleil Town is actually pretty short. No dungeon, no boss. So you don't have to worry too much about them. Um, here we go. And 800. We have all the all the stuff we need for the golden apple. For all the melons. But yeah, this last thing, this last time travel portion is pretty short. And pretty to the point. And no boss. So we're going to go ahead and finish it up too. That way when we start the next one, we can just do the last dungeon. Yep, we're almost at the end. Okay, in the Soleil of the Past. Let's see, you can go into some of these. I think most of them are closed off. One thing we can go into is the church. Uh, yeah, no golden apple here. Let's see. Just the people using their, doing the usual prayers in the chapel. I didn't mention this, but I'm pretty sure in the American version they've removed the religious iconography. I want to say that back wall in the room there is either blank or it's got a weird, a different symbol on it. Again, people are just so touching. Okay. There is no plaza at this time, so nothing to do there. Let's see. Let's see if we can find some of the houses that actually have something in them. Oh, someone to talk to. Okay, monsters in the dungeon. Raccoon's house. Uh, come forward, it will be auctioned off. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah, the statue's not finished. The fountain's not finished yet. Apparently, today is Sunday. Fountain is just under construction. Okay. I believe this area is closed off. Yeah, like I said, most of the town is. It's just a few key buildings, and I think one of them is our house. Where we see our parents as kids. Name it Benjamin. You mean Benjamin with an E? I'll Benjamin with an I. I can see the argument that would create. And he had a dog too. His dog's name was Tiny. It must be really tiny because I don't see him at all. Okay. Well, that's pretty much everything in town. Let's go see what's going on in the castle. And it looks like the long nose guards are panicking. <sighs> Never? Ugh. King's in danger. Well, he's not in too much danger, so let's go check out the, the jail. Ah, the monsters broke out. Pretty impressive, just smashed through those bars. I mean, bear in mind, those monsters are there in our time. Okay. Nothing here. Oh, there's a maid. 
Okay, monsters are in the king's room. Hey, maybe this is how it gets the donkey ears, huh? Uh, maybe not. Nothing over here. And... Here come the monsters, and there they go. I'll admit, the ones in the back, the big ball ones with the teeth, those are kind of freaky. Oh. Yeah, I just kind of came in here and they scared them off. Let's see where they're going. Hopefully, the guards were not too terrified. Oh, excuse me. To point them out. Uh, towards the village. Do some. Really? Do I need to point out again how our character is 14 years old? Forget that he has a holy sword and a shield. And... Whatever. Uh, didn't come this way. She's not particularly bothered. Ugh, she's not particularly bothered either. They must have taken the long way to the church. And here they are. Yeah, see, the green ones just look like people with robes on. It's kind of sucky. Let's see. Didn't mean to attack them. They're a lot more clear, I think, in the American version that they were just trying to talk. It sounds like here he actually attacked them. I feel like the dragon from Skyrim trying to have a conversation with a normal person. Who's Roga? That poor guy gets blasted across the country. I was just trying to say hello. Okay. Different guards now, but ones who are a little bit less inclined to run around in a panic. And sure enough, they have squashed all the monsters. Oh. I think two of them will talk. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Poor monster is just trying to... Trying to be free for a bit. Then again, how'd they end up in jail in the first place? Seems strange that someone will go out and capture them. Oh well. We could weep for them, or... Not care about them. Whatever fills your boat. For now, we need to go talk to the king. Oh, oh no! Oh, sorry, I can't stop yawning now for some reason. Okay. Yeah, and get a sword. Yes, we saw the monsters. Oh, let's talk to the maid real quick. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's see. Yeah, you know, some kind of if they have long noses to me. I, I don't know. Oh, he's gonna build the statue after me. Something to look forward to. Amazing. So maybe now the statue will look just like me. It'd be kind of strange things I have to explain to my mom, but okay. Young man, take your sword. Now is the time to fight. And here we are again. Let's go take a closer look at that statue. Uh, yeah, it looks like the same statue. <laughs> I guess I just wasn't impressed enough enough for the king. The jerk. Killing innocent monsters and most of all screwing up my statue. Oh, well, get my 800 melons, time to get my golden apple. Yep. There's a go. And she doesn't have any more. That's good, because I don't have another 800 melons. And that would be a bit much to have to sit there and grind out. Okay, uh... Well, we're close to the end now. It's a good time to mop up any last-minute quests we got going on. 
little quest and any more oh let's go talk to the priest maybe he'll say something different now oh yes that's why people stop coming nope oh, and Alice mm, no It's, um, I don't know. I can't bring myself to say yes. I may, call, I may call BS on some of the other monsters, but the ones in the King's Castle seem like they just wanted some peace. Unfortunately, all they got was eternal rest. Still, we have one more dungeon left. Maybe something in that can resolve this. Now it's time to fight. So let's take a look at this statue. Yeah. I guess it's a shame. I really wanted to rub it in Bull's face. Well, yeah, I think I've done that. No, I don't. That statue looks nothing like me. Yeah, anyone who holds a shield and a sword kind of looks like the statue. <sighs> That's just annoys me. Oh, well. Yeah, we're pretty much set for now. Uh, next time we'll be hitting the final dungeon. Uh, <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. No. Not gonna touch that one. Next time, we will be hitting the final dungeon. Which is in this one spot which hasn't done anything till now. But we'll do that next time.